Uh, what's up guys, it's your boy Daniel, back with another video. Behind me is uh, LA Open Door Church, and today we're going to be asking some uh, edifying interview questions about our seniors. Stay tuned. Uh, playing Valorant with him, and him camping and always killing me with the judge. Uh, just playing games with him, whether it's Jackbox or Valorant. He's not really good at any of them, but it's just fun being, you know, in this pres with him and present with them, yeah. Probably when we uh, play basketball at TSM. Um, we were hot garbage. I got to know who he was and like his humor and stuff like that. So yeah, it was fun hanging out all together. Um, there was a brief period of time where both of us played for our respective soccer teams in high school. And fortunately, we were part of the same league, him being Temple City and me being South Pasadena. One game when we were playing on his home field, Andrew Ree was the substitute goalkeeper and I was a midfielder who came off the bench. And fortunately, we happened to meet match up during the second half of the game. There was a moment where I almost scored an Andrew, but thankfully uh, he blocked it. But the game ended up being an 8-0 blowout. Um, I don't know how many, I don't remember how many he let in, but if you wanna, you can probably ask him, he'll tell you that. Uh, but yeah, that was a very uh, fun experience seeing him on Sunday the next <laughs> the next week. Playing Clash, we did lose and it was pretty tilting, but I feel like we had moments where there was laughter and joy when we were playing together. Has Andrew ever left in one of those games? Yeah. Really? He, he whiffed a cue on the scuttle crab. Uh, nothing, nothing particular. I see that fool every day. It's, it's whatever. Um, Machu is such a great cook. I remember he invited us to eat steak at his apartment. It was so good. And also, I threw up in his apartment once. So was it good or? Oh, uh, the food was good. <laughs> but like, you threw up. You know, but it was memorable because that's the first time I threw up in someone else's place. It's getting worse. <laughs> okay, moving on. Mm, there was one time that me and Jiyun went to Irvine with Matthew, and I tried Omomo for the first time, and we went to UC Irvine to study, but we couldn't get inside, so we had to study in the cold, and we're all sniffling, but eating chips and studying. It was so fun, so thanks for taking us back to... You said it was fun, but it was mostly just talking about the cold and suffering. <laughs> yeah, it was so. suffering, but suffering together. Carrying our burdens together, it was great. That was a good answer, actually. It was during the outreach event in uh, UC USC. Hey, you guys better come next time. But um, yeah, it was, it was nice because I got to see uh, Matthew in action, you know? During Zoom calls with him, like during the meetings, he was very like knowledgeable in how to evangelize and um, had a lot of experience with it. So yeah, it was really good to see him utilize his talents to further God's word. And it was really encouraging to see that. Amina, I knew probably since the beginning uh, when I moved here in fourth grade, but just in general, there was a time where there were specific like older youngs who kind of liked to like bully the younger kids in a playful way. And I remember uh, because Mina was he had a relationship with one of them that he was given like ex exemption. And because he and they took a liking to me, I was uh, saved from the negative impacts of those dark days. Uh, <laughs> Isaac Park. Uh, but yeah, I'm just thankful for that. And ever since then, we've been pretty close. Funny things I remember, uh, he would ditch Awana to play Maple Story in that room. Before he was just like a funny, excited about life type of kid and now seeing him in college, all grown up, he's this very savvy, hype beast, um, K-pop star. I talked to uh, Josh Park in Outreach and we just shared like life stories. Like that was very heartwarming. Your life story is very interesting. I think you're really like mog material and um, you're very God-fearing, God-centered man. So. Um, other than playing with his hamster, Abraham, <laughs> Honestly, I think my most memorable moment was over text. Um, last summer, we had a really good Facebook conversation and he kind of told me about his faith and um, his dad. And we talked a lot about um, like what we wanted to do in the future. And yeah, he's a mog of mogs. Yeah, OPPK. <laughs> it was the deepest conversation I've had on my phone in my life. So thank you, Josh. <laughs> When we were kids, when we had sleepovers, I think that was really fun. And that's one lasting moment that I'll have. I love that Grace always asks me how my week is, and she's very genuine about it. Um, I don't think I have one specific moment, but more like a series of moments. And she doesn't ask what needs to be helped with. She just goes and does it. 
and she always has a lot to talk about. So, <laughs> so she has a really fun personality. She makes me feel welcome. I agree. I also agree. Um, all right. What's up, guys? Uh, Daniel is currently unavailable at the moment, so I'll be taking over for this interview. Uh, we have Julia, and we'll just be asking you a couple questions. I was pretty new to exchange. Um, so I think I was um, a freshman, and I just remember her going out of her way to make me feel welcome and just really talk to me. And I think ever since then, we've been really close. Memorable moment you had with Grace? Well, yeah. Um, I definitely like the, the deep talks we have at nighttime. Like, spending a lot of time just talking about life. It's like very rare, but that's what makes it special, I think. Krusty. Harry. Good, good answer. Uh, What's the one word that describes macho? Melanin. I hear him, I feel like I hear him say a lot, his vibes. Like, you know, he's like, oh, that's the vibe. Like, yeah, that's a very macho word. Unfiltered, yeah. I'd say, yeah, like, um, one defining moment that I know, characteristic of David Rue is that he's not scared of saying what he wants. And uh, I respect that. That does take a lot of courage. I mean, not many people can do that. Oh, uh, he's my brother, so brother. That's pretty lame. Um, I want to say unique, because he's a Bucks fan. And not many people are a Bucks fan, or even know what Milo know that Milwaukee even exists. Uh, honestly, like, he's been a Bucks fan when Giannis wasn't good. Like, when they were complete garbage, hot trash. So I really respect that. Like, Andrew, like, you're a real one, dude. Mm, I think generous. He's so, yeah, he cares a lot about people with this time and he always buys meals. I still owe you one. Please buy me food. I would say uh, focused. Yeah, Matt's always like had his eye on the prize uh, for outreach team or law school. He knows exactly what he wants to do and he goes about and does it. Uh, it's definitely very admirable. Hospitable. I told Lauren too, but I think Machu is one of the most hospitable people I know. I'm going to go with underrated because, um, or underappreciated, but underrated sounds less mean. Because um, uh, I, I recognize like you are very dedicated in spreading God's word. And um, even like just bringing out your friends, like evangelizing, do that. Uh, ambitious. Interesting. Uh, charismatic. I was going to say mod. Mod is three words. Um, but I'm going to say kind. Mr. Worldwide, he traveled so many places, and his family too, so it's basically like all over the world. Josh is surprising. Uh, he's like really good at basketball. We just played with him recently, and I was kind of shocked how, how good he was, and I think I've been kind of surprised. He's, he has like a, a lot of depth to his answers when I ask him questions, very open to that stuff. Would you say he's the best, best baller in exchange? Oh, uh, yeah, he's, he's way better than uh, those other fakers in the sophomore class, yeah, for sure. Mature, because recently we had like a talk about a topic, but we had different opinions, but then we were able to agree to disagree, and I feel like not many people can do that, and that kind of shows how mature she is. What is one word to describe Grace? Kind of rude, but I'm going to say loud, because her laugh is loud. Dude, you're so right. Yeah, congrats on uh, almost finishing. I know you have one more semester. Uh, hope you continue to work hard, find a good job, and then yeah, buy me food sometime. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm just I'm just glad that you'll be able to come out to Open Door, uh, even when you graduate. I'll see you at church. Wait, any last words? See you next year. <laughs> thank you for being just. I guess for me, such a great leader and role model i'm really glad that we got to serve together and hopefully we'll still be able to hang out time to time so when i first came to open door macho was really welcoming to me and so i really appreciate all that you've done for helping me to assimilate into open door and introducing me to all these people giving me a rise and so i've really been able to see how like, kind and thoughtful you are and how um, devoted you are to Christ. And so thank you so much. And I'm excited to see from where you go. And I'm glad you're at least staying for another year. I know you like Kanye. So hopefully you could become a different animal and the same beast. Thank you. Yeah, everybody enjoys being around David. 
always. I know you are very ambitious and you have your goals and dreams in life. But again, I think the most important thing is that we will not live here for eternity. This is not our home. We're just here as sojourners and exiles. And so let's keep our uh, mind on what is coming. Any last words? Yeah, congrats on graduating. Yeah. No, I love you? Nope. Please say I love you. Nah. Good luck with your future and finding out what you want to do in life. I hope that we can someday play Clash again and win the whole thing. Uh, Andrew, so glad that I got to meet you, even though it's like right before you're graduating. I um, would love to still be able to hang out to keep in contact. And if you're ever down to like go to a baseball game or something, let's do it. Thank you for teaching me so much um, about God's love and also you're so diligent and I'm really excited for your, your future. Um, I hope that you don't get discouraged and I know that you're going to go really far. And thanks for being so open about your faith and being a mom that I really look up to. Machu, I'm going to miss you. Good luck on postgrad and I know you're going to be amazing. You're one of the smartest people I know and you're so informed <laughs> so i wish you the best of luck and keep loving god and i hope you find a church if you end up moving whether you go to bay area go back home uh go like far away for a job or stay here um just want you to know that we, we all will still be there for you and uh, hopefully you'll continue your evangelism wherever you go continue stay strong and uh, we appreciate you I hope that you're doing well and that um, you're learning a lot every day. And also, I think my mom still wants to buy that book that your dad wrote. So <laughs> send me the link whenever you have time. But thanks for being someone that I could always talk to at KCM and church. Yeah, just keep it up, honestly. It's, uh, um, I'm sure he'll, he'll be just fine during admissions and all that stuff for law school. And I know like that attitude once he gets there it's going to carry him he's going to do exactly what he wants to do as long as he keeps up with it uh, and trust god in the process it's going to be it's going to be great i think it's important for us to do life together it's hard i think we need the church i know mina you expressed that desire to me and i hope that even though you won't be part of exchange you will still be part of our church and so I hope that you would continue to um, yeah, strive to be part of us and strive to build a community here to ultimately worship our God. Yeah, congrats on finishing school. It's good to see you back at Open Door. Hope to see you more often. He's been, he's been really thoughtful too about what he wants to do in the future. And I think I would say just, just have fun with it. You know, he's going to be moving around a lot and the fun of being in early tw your early 20s and it's a lot of transition and I shouldn't worry about it too much and just have, have fun. I know you're going to Master's Seminary, and I know that you love reading more about the Word and a connection with God, so perfect for you. Hope you learn a lot there and grow your relationship with God. And also, um, we should play basketball soon. I couldn't go last time because I have a stomachache, but yeah, I'm going I'm to break your ankles, dude. <laughs> you're just very kind, encouraging, loving, and I know that God is behind everything you do, and I am cheering for you. Hi, team. Congrats, and um, I'll be cheering on. I hope that you know we get even closer in the future. Love you. I know you will do very well in your future post-grad life. I'll send my kids to your school, maybe, maybe, yeah. What if she goes to a really bad school? Will you still do it? No. So I know you're struggling trying to find out what you want to do for your future. Just want to tell you that we support you as a family. God will always provide and you don't need to be anxious. Uh, I want to say good luck with finding a good school and good students to teach. And also good luck in your walk with God. And yeah, if you ever need anything, I'll be here. Yeah, just your smile, so beautiful. I'm always so like, I feel so happy whenever I see Grace. I, I sound like I'm in love. <laughs> But that's good, that's good. Yes, I, I love you, Grace. I know there are a lot of things that you have to do um, once you graduate, and it might seem like uh, it might take a while or like, but remembering to talk to God about every step. And I think it's easy to feel anxious or worried, but really just letting those things go. And also like talking to me, hello, <laughs> or talking to, you know, other staff members and you know we're here for you so if you need prayer warriors like don't be afraid to reach out um. 
You're the light in the morning. You're the breeze in the afternoon. You're the water welling up within me. You are making me new. You're the roots that go deep, deep down. You're the energy I need to grow. You're the mover. Okay, seniors, congratulations once again for finishing your undergrad. What a big accomplishment. And all glory to God, because He's the one who has been faithful in your life, who has protected you and guided you all throughout, not only these past four years, but all throughout your life. And so I pray that you, you guys would continue to seek to love God, for that is the will of God in our lives. I know you guys have worked hard, studied diligently. Some of you guys are working. Some of you guys are looking for jobs. And uh, perhaps many of you guys are concerned for um, what's coming. There will be many obstacles in life, many temptations in life. But I hope that you guys would remember that God is always with you. God promises to be with His people. And so, I know this is a cliche, but the best advice I can really give you is nothing new. It's what's in the Bible. It's to love the Lord your God and to trust in Him wholeheartedly. And I think your faith will be tested now, perhaps more than ever. And so, seniors, I will be praying for you. And I know the Staff and the students will be praying for you as well. Do not fear. But boldly, move forward. Not only pursuing the things of this world, but ultimately remembering that we will be with the Lord for eternity. And so let that be our ultimate goal. Seniors, I hope and pray that you would go out to the world and be set apart from this world and win the world by being true Christians. Farewell, seniors. 96% of the viewers aren't subscribed, so please just smash that like button, click the notification button, and please subscribe. It really helps out the algorithm.